Hello, it is currently two minutes past the hour of two o'clock in the afternoon. You are listening to CFRU Radio 93.3 FM in Guelph, Ontario. I am the Christopher Curry, and normally at this point in time, you would be hearing me, often in conjunction with my co-host Feng Wei, starting the program Vision Fugitive. However, that will not be taking place this week, at least uh, not uh, at the uh, present moment, not for the first hour. Uh, instead, I am going to uh, take you to a live performance, and this is taking place uh, with our green screen backdrop on our YouTube channel as well, for those who want to uh, check it out in that medium. I'm going to take you, I say, to a live performance by a local project that goes under the name of Justin's Wonderful Time. And let's go. Hello, I am Justin's Wonderful Time, and I'm here to uh, tell you a story. One time I knew a friend, and that friend uh, I was briefly friends with, and she, she told me that she was in a room with a circle of people who were... Uh, who were doing drugs, and uh, basically she was being pressured into do drugs when she didn't want to do drugs. So this is a song about that, because I feel like it's really bad to pressure people to do stuff that they don't want to do under any circumstances. Okay, here we go. Just a circle of businessmen Wrapped around our very good friend Mary's unafraid of our stance Mary's unafraid of our stance Group will pomp this circumstance Mary wanna give it a go Mary wanna give it a go I'm so happy she didn't say no I'm so happy she didn't say no Ride her into our family tree that way Mary will never be free Whoopsie did I say that out loud Whoopsie diddle diddly dee Mary wanna give it a go Mary wanna give it a go I'm so happy she didn't say no I'm so happy she didn't say no Mary wanna give it a go Mary wanna give it a go I'm so happy she didn't say no I'm so happy she didn't say no A novelty of a human being Mary That's the song Okay, now I'm gonna play a different song
Hello, I'm I'm Justin's Wonderful Time. I've been playing music since uh, uh, when I was really young, and I've been doing Justin's Wonderful Time ever since 2013. Uh, here's another song. It's uh, it's about what happens in people's minds. It's called Gender Rolls Royce. I hope you enjoy. I own a big car, 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 it's easy to see. I own a big car, I own a big car, I own a big car, comprehension is key. I own a big car, I own a big car, I own a big car, it exists. I own a big car, I own a big car, I own a big car. But do you understand that I cannot? And every day I wake up and go to work And every day work makes me feel bad And every day I go outside And then I immediately go back inside I love my life, I love my car But nobody's listening, I fall on my face Over again, and over again, and over again, and over again For everyone to see, forever and ever and for 
you to see I'd have to take your hair And I'd have to pull the strands And I'd shove it in the car Shove it right in the windshield Just so you could see Do you understand? Cause you're not saying anything I own a big car I own a big car I own a big car It's right there! Why can't you see it? I own a big car 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 How are you gonna take your family to the hospital when they die? How are you gonna do it? How are you gonna do it?
okay, now it's time for another song. And, uh, uh, Chris, do you have anything to say? Hello. First, um, a reminder to listeners that you are listening to CFRU Radio 93.3 FM and also available worldwide at CFRU.ca. Now, a question for Justin's wonderful time, um, or maybe uh, a question that can lead to a bit of a clarification. Uh, These songs, this performance, uh, is not taking place on a purely random basis. You have uh, an album coming up pretty soon, is that correct? Yes. Uh, can you uh, uh, elaborate on that, on how people might find it, might uh, be able to procure it, etc.? Well, I have a I have a Facebook page. You can look up Justin's Wonderful Time. And uh, also, the album is going to release on Bandcamp, so you can find it on Bandcamp. And yeah, my Bandcamp's also called Justin's Wonderful Time. And um, uh, am I allowed to mention your real name over the airwaves? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, I, I will note to our listeners in that case that Justin's wonderful time is, in fact, Justin Grigno, who is one of the hosts of the program that runs Sundays at 4 p.m. Uh, with the name Couples Retreat, uh, in case the uh, voice has sounded familiar to some people accordingly. Uh, and uh, you explained the story behind the first song. Are there any other uh, songs you played this far that uh, you'd want to uh, draw out the story for? Well, the I mean, the answer could be no. Yeah, uh, I'll just I'll be re- I'll be really vague and just say that I've been working on music for a long time. The first song after the one I explained was one that can be found in my first compilation, which is also on Bandcamp, and. Uh, yeah, I, I, Justin's Wonderful Time started out as just me doing computer music, and then it moved on to me taking it way too seriously, and that's the stage I'm in right now. Is the new album you plus guitar, or is it you plus guitar plus electronics, or, or what does it involve? There are some songs, actually, there's one song, two songs with acoustic guitar, but every song has a, a ton of layers, I really, I really make the use out of logic. It's it's really full. Now, uh, more of a conceptual question. Uh, first, uh, a preamble question. You're familiar, I trust, with the group Per Ubu. Yes. Uh, and you know that uh, the lead singer of uh, Per Ubu is someone named uh, Dave Thomas. Yes. Correct. Now, he once um, indicated on one of the Per Ubu. Al- Per Ubu albums that uh, for the group's first releases he had printed the lyrics but that he would not be doing so any further. In fact, he actually wrote on the back of one of his albums to print lyrics is a bad thing. (laughs) Now, do you, Justin, uh, agree that to print lyrics is a bad thing? And uh, related question, uh, you've noted the tracks are lyric-based. Will people find the lyrics to your tracks on the Bandcamp page? Uh... Well, the the one I just did, Gender Rolls Royce, it hasn't been released and it won't be released anytime soon. Uh, so you can't find the lyrics to that. Those are only like, like you you're pretty much on your own. But uh, but I I I don't I don't personally agree with that. There are uh, musicians who agree with that, but I also like to read lyrics as as you know print. Like I think you know if if an artist doesn't want to do that, sure, but. I, I, I like writing out my lyrics, too, so that people understand what I'm saying. If you could recommend one Per Ubu album to our listeners, what would it be? I wouldn't. I, I, I just wouldn't be able to answer that because I haven't, I haven't really listened to them. I've just seen a few live clips of them. Okay. I, I, know, I know of the infamy of David Thomas. That is fair. Um, in any case, I think we're ready uh, to move on to another song now. Okay. Yes, let's... Uh, Let's do uh, Blood Pillow at On the Ground. This is off my second album.
Okay. Now, uh, I'll do another song for my first album. Okay, how much time do we have? It is currently 2.27. Uh, that's my response, of course, both uh, to you, Justin, and to our listeners who might be curious as to the time. It's currently 2.27. You're listening still to CFRU Radio 93.3 FM. And uh, we have uh, about, uh, accordingly, uh, 30 minutes-ish left in the performance time. Do you have any 30-minute songs we could feature right now? No, unfortunately not. I played my longest song uh earlier okay but i got some pretty i got some pretty i got some doozies well i mean this isn't uh, commercial radio this is uh community radio so if you were to venture forth far beyond the confines of the three to five minute pop song this would be the perfect space to do so if you wanted to i, pre- I appreciate i appreciate the offer chris but i'm gonna have to it's gonna get poppy okay we can do that too Th- thank you by the way for telling me the time sorry for uh being really demanding no no uh i i please you you never need to apologize for giving me an excuse to go on microphone (laughs) anyone who knows me will will know the truth of that statement but i'll turn the floor back over to you at this point okay i'll do a cover of a killing joke song called primitive one sec
Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a song called Kill Malure. Now here we go. I just gotta just gotta lock my device in. do a song from my new album this time uh yeah the first one from my new album that i'm playing it's called persist okay uh, oh wait uh, A ruptured thought passes out of my cup. Can I think it through any more than this? I know I'm in love in a way I will persist. I would never think you'd appreciate. Years of hate, and 
next song is uh, from my second album. scared 
that told me they were right and then they were and then they were play a song called Melodrama from my second album. <laughs>
here's uh, another song. It's called, it's, this one's from my new album. So, we got two in. Uh, the rest I couldn't play, because I didn't practice them. But uh, here's the, uh, this one's called Stop Looking Up. That I'm being patty I'm always getting rude There's people that I care about Who care about me too Dumber in perspective So what is there to do? you care no matter if you swear so stop looking up stop looking up when you're looking down on me stop looking up stop looking up don't act like you agree it's a lie if ever you make believe that I've done nothing wrong and I think it's unforgivable to say you couldn't do a better job Maybe I'm too boring for certain folks to care I really feel lonely sometimes and it can make me scared No, I don't want fanfare or you to lick a rock Maybe it would help if you listen when I talk And I really doubt you care no matter how hard you swear Stop looking up, stop looking up When you're looking down on me Stop looking up, stop looking up How dare you lie to me And when you call me talented It just reminds me that you don't care For a second of my music Unless I happen to be right there you can just stop looking up, stop looking up, just stop looking up, stop looking up, seriously stop looking up, stop looking up to me, to me. And even if you followed me through the streets, I'd fail. played all my songs so I could I could just I could just go off you know just go on a tangent um how about <laughs> this uh what if you were to um just uh, improvise a little bit of music in the background while I asked you some rapid fire style questions that I often use to conclude interviews that I conduct with visiting artists sure okay so question number one if you could uh, collaborate with any person on the planet now living who would it be uh more than anything there's people that i know around guelph that i want to collaborate with and uh yeah just like i have a friend who's who does music and uh he looks like me and he's really smart and i want to i want to do more music with him uh the boys with the noise i definitely want to do uh, more stuff with them if they if they're fine with that. And uh, who, are, who are the boys with the noise? Just for listeners who don't know, the boys with the noise are uh, are Guelph's newest up and coming uh, uh, big thing. They are they are completely uh, they are astounding. You listen to their music and you're shocked. Like, I mean, it's 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 almost like a parody of of experimental music because they just. Mm. They just do, <laughs> they just do ridiculous stuff, and it just makes me laugh. But it's also like, you know, but you can also listen to it as good music. 
Okay. Uh, the Boys with the Noise. Uh, my curiosity has been piqued uh, about them. But my next uh, rapid-fire question. Um, if you could collaborate with anyone formerly of the planet now deceased, who would that be? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... I don't know. I, I, I don't... You know, I used to always want to, like, collaborate with people. But then I... I don't know. I don't think I... I don't think I've had good experiences, so I don't know if I need to... Okay. Like, I don't know. No, that's an understandable response. I can I can accept that. I, w- I would like to talk to deceased people. Okay. Um, is there any, any one in particular that you could uh, focus in on? Or, or one, two, or three, let's say, if you can't choose just one. I don't know. As far as I know, the band Pens have dropped off the face of the earth, so if I could oh. talk to them, that would be fun, but... Uh, I don't know, like, you know, it's just, it would just be interesting to talk to anyone, like, the guy from The Fall who passed away. Oh, yeah, um, Marky I'm Smith. blanking on this, Marky Smith, yes, yes. Um, I do agree. Um, uh, interviewing him could be a bit of a challenge, as I understand it, uh, and from clips that I've seen, but, uh, it would be interesting to have talked to him. It would be um, a risk. It w- yes, I, I wouldn't want to do it live to air, necessarily. <laughs> Um, now, uh, next question. Who would you most want to hear your music? Who? Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> when I asked this question to Funyap, uh, a while ago, uh, the response that I received on that occasion was my ancestors, which was a good response. Yeah, that's a good one. But it means you can't use it because it'd be derivative of that answer now. So, uh, my apologies. <laughs> but, uh, but how, how would you respond? Well... There's no celebrity or any public figure that I'd want to hear. Maybe Doug Ford, <laughs> but uh, I think I think he'd really get a kick out of Gender Rolls Royce. Okay. Uh, I also have a song about him. It's just like a a rock song. It's in my head. It's not real yet, but it's just like a Chuck Berry style rock rock song about him being a piece of poo. <laughs> well, yeah. Um. Uh, there will be many opportunities to record that, I'm sure, in the uh, near future. Yes. Uh, although, I mean, you know, if if his career suddenly crashes and burns, uh, the opportunity could be lost. Uh, yeah. So, um, in any case, um, next rapid fire question, uh, maybe the last one as well, uh, since we're running a little bit short on time. Uh, I'm trying to remember the way I phrase this to other people. It's not like, you know, the standard name an album that influenced you kind of question. There's because, I mean, that's kind of a predictable question. But uh, um, is there anything you can think of uh, that you've listened to by someone else in the past that made you think, yes, I can create music myself. Yes, this world could be for me. <laughs> okay. Uh Sometimes with really good music, it can make me feel like, oh my god, it's so good, why do I need to make anything else? But then there's, you know, I do I do think I just, I, I do inspire myself, but there are countless artists that have like, you know, like, when you read about artists like, you know, the guy from Earth who just like, you know, you know, you don't really know what they're intentions were all the time but like they just like they they put on live shows where they just like put on an amplifier and put on a guitar and leave it on the amplifier and and do that for an hour like that is really inspiring to me stuff like that and and beat happening okay a a lot of that recently has been inspiring me to to do more to do more pop songs and also just like like this like i didn't really practice that much for it i don't but (laughs) But you know, I'm I'm glad I did it. Okay, my final question: Is there any one question that encompasses all others? Why? <laughs> Very good. You have been listening to CFRU Radio ninety three point three FM in Guelph, Ontario. Also available worldwide at CFRU.ca. This has not been the first hour of the program Vision Fugitive, which is what you would normally hear at this time of day. But rather, we've been featuring a live performance by Justin's Wonderful Time. Justin's Wonderful Time will have a new uh, album coming out uh, on February fourteenth, Valentine's Day, actually, uh, and. Uh, I 
I'm uh, I'm sure this would be the perfect Valentine's gift for someone. Uh, the Cost of Death, available on Bandcamp. Pre-orders are taking place now for uh, $7 Canadian or more. And you know, um, the or more thing is real. If you can afford more, feel free to um, support the artist by paying more, if you, if you so choose. That option is there. Um, and once again, that's uh, Justin's Wonderful Time. Uh, anything more? Should we just uh, should we wrap things up now? Just happy Black History Month. Everyone have a nice day. Indeed. And uh, we'll be commencing the program Vision Fugitive uh, an hour late after this promotional break. <laughs> 